Hey. We are at Dollar General. Look at this. This is like, um, oh, it's confetti for graduation. Look at the hunters up. Oh, look at that pretend cap for graduation. That's cool. So, I just want to let you know that I did not ask permission to film at the store. <laughs> but I saw that other people had on the, I had before on the Butterfinger. Oh man, I want that so bad. And Outshine. I have had Outshine fruit bars. They are so good. Some are better than others. I mean, some, are, some flavors are better than others. Who doesn't love Snickers? Oh my, my, my. What have we down here? This is. A Mickey Mouse. Vanilla with chocolate covering. Oh. <laughs> I want all of them. And that look good. <laughs> well, it's kind of a chilly day, so I'm going to get away from the refrigerator here. They're kind of loud, you know, the refrigerators. I think that that's gonna be not the brand my husband likes. I want, I want, of course I want, so I'm not eating chips right now. But I am gonna pick some out. <laughs> These little bags. Because I have a request from somebody to make lunches and I was torn between whether I'm going to try to make lunches for children or if I'm going to make lunches for me and my husband on our travels. Either way, let's pick out mini bags of chips because whether for somebody else or me, I think that a small little taste of chips would be good. Fritos. Mm. Barbecue. Skip. Huh. Another one of these. Because if I end up eating them, I want <laughs> cheddar potato chips. Yum. Oh my goodness. I'm just chips so much. I love them. Okay. Don't think I want to get pretzels for any reason. Pretzels. They're so good. But this is a bulk pack of these. I wonder if it's a better price. Let's see here. Well, Is, you know, if I have that around the house, I'm just gonna eat 18 bags and actually I might as well just get the individual bags. That's a good deal though, if you have kids. Look at all these chips just calling my name.
Cheetos are my favorite chips ever in the whole wide world ever. And I am picking out a bag to send to my friend Sorina in Romania. She told me the other day that she's never had them before. stacked chips. They're sort of, I don't know, they're different than regular potato chips because they're like instant potatoes, instant mashed potatoes compared to real mashed potatoes. Golden Flake Pork Rinds Barbecue. Mm. Now see, I can have those on my food plan. Chicarones. I think that's a Spanish word. Where else do I want to look? Of course, I'm going to tempt myself with all this gorgeous candy. Swedish orange crop of fruit mix. I've never seen candy by the company Crush. That's a soda. Flavor, beer, water, cereals, breakfast bars, granola, oats and honey, yeah. Strawberry and banana crisps. Oh, I love dried fruit. It's freeze dried fruit. Strawberries, strawberry and banana. would go good in the lunches. I'm gonna end up picking out stuff I like. Peaches, dried peaches, dried apple. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love them. I think I've seen them before. Either Dollar General or Dollar Tree, I'm not sure, but I think I've bought them before. Think about those. Maybe come back. Those will be good in the lunches. Well, I am going to have to take a look at the dog food. No, I don't have a dog. I'll just probably always reminisce about the days that I was picking out dog food for my daughter's dog. I get some of these for my cats. They might like. Are these cats or dogs? They're jumbo. This gotta be for cats. Yeah, my cats like. But I had to return my little doggo back to my daughter. And shortly after that, he died. He was not so well. 
But I really enjoyed picking out dog food for him and seeing which kind he liked the best. Farm raised benefit. Purina Beneful. See, I'm not sure I understand dried dog food and cat food. It doesn't seem like it would be the healthiest for them. But I do it because it's simpler and they swear, <laughs> you know, that it's healthy. So, you can only hope natural dog food in nature's menu. Um, I actually did feed my daughter's dog some human food. I gave him sweet potatoes. Those are supposed to be really good for a dog. And some peas. And some... This package is coming undone. It's not leaking. I mean, it's not spilling. So it'd probably be okay. 15 pound bonus size. See, the vegetables are good for the dogs. I can see them pictured on some of these. So I would give them fresh meat and vegetables now and again. Or actually, quite a bit. Don't you just love the sound of these crinkles? I just, these bags are so... <laughs> super, um, they've got a special crinkle of their own. Packed with key nutrients similar to mother's milk. Purina Duck Chow. Chow Chow Chow. That was a commercial back when I was young. Younger. I don't know when it came out. Purina Cat Chow. Chow Chow Chow. Okay, so. Prime Cuts. This bag picture on the bag's all cockeyed. Everything your dog needs. Come and get it, Alpo. So this reminds me of when I was young, uh, around 16, 15, and we had a Hollywood company come out to our house and make a dog food commercial. I remember Rusty Ranger, and they were calling their dogs across a field, and it was our field at our house. And it was on TV for a while. Now we lived in the foothills of Malibu, so it kind of made sense. We had a beautiful yard when I was growing up. Good and fun. That's interesting. 
They normally never get their teeth around a glass bottle. <laughs> How could they get some satisfaction out of thinking they're chewing up the human bottle? Sports ball with a rope, dog toy. I bought Jackson, my daughter's dog, several toys. They had so much fun. I'd chase him around the table, and he then he'd chase me around the table. It's so funny. Dental life. I've never seen this. Dental life. Dental life. Dental life. Active. Active fresh. Cute. Puppy paws. Puppy paws. Scoop away. Adult cat food. Now, here's where we start looking for food for my kitties. We haven't run out yet, actually, but I'm going to get to something different from here just because. Let's see how they respond to a different kind of food. This is 100% complete and balanced. I like the look of this Heartland brand. Heartland Farm. Seafood medley from Heartland. I bet that would be yummy. I bet they'll love that. I think I'll get this one. I'm sure that um, while I'm looking for things to put in the lunches, I'm going to find a whole bunch of other stuff. Put it back, Rebecca. Put it back. Good girl. I love these gummies. The peaches and the, and the watermelon flavors. They're so powerful. Oh my goodness. The kids on the bus would love these. That's the Haribo Company. Originates in Germany. Alrighty, soups. And what else? Ramen. Says. No added MSG. Now, does that mean it already had its own natural MSG? I think not. Mm, just what do they mean by no added MSG? Let's take a look what we're talking about in sodium. Anyway, it 
at some point, the management got in my way as I was trying to film and she goes, oh, excuse me. And I was thinking, no, 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 excuse me. Oh my goodness. Sugar wafer. All my heart I want. Ooh, oatmeal, raisin, cookie, soft baked. Ooh, soft baked are the best. Although, yeah, store bought cookies just cannot compare to homemade. These kind, though, I can't make this. That's peanut butter fudge. Ooh. Now, those, see these. Sugar free? No, that can't be any good. Sugar free. Last time I had sugar free candy and cookies, it made me. Well, you don't want too much because it makes you have to go to the ladies' room or the men's room a little too often, if you know what I mean. Hershey's chips ahoy. I don't even like those very much, but these, oh my goodness. You can't reproduce Oreo type cookies at home. I'm gonna need some bread. I'll take a look at this and then see if they have it anywhere else in the store. I don't know what I want to get. I need more sponges. I think I'll get some of these. Wait, what do we have over here? Well, these are blue. And their scratchy back is different than these. Here's kind of a teal turquoise. Mm -hmm. Let's put the other ones back and take a look at these. I've gotten these before. I kind of like these. Which color? Okay. Blue it is. I don't know why. Nothing really matches my kitchen. I wish they made red sponges. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Just clean two pairs of kitchen gloves. My saw. Yeah, I don't know if I need that for my hands all on. It would be good for the bus. I like using those better than I like using hand sanitizer. Oh, I wonder what those are like. I've never used them before. Hmm. I know I've smelled them in other people's homes. It's not quite the same as candles, though. I like to watch the flame of a candle. Cards, greeting cards. And all these Mother's Day cards that are still here. And uh, I have missed it. So I'm going to maybe just pick a couple out for next year so I don't. girls that are very good mamas. My two daughters have children and I have a son that has three children. His wife is a very good mama. But 
think I'm going to just get two of these for now. you go, whatever you do, however you celebrate it. It's absolutely awesome. They've got these streamers hanging all over the place with the balloons. Ooh, isn't this pretty? Pleasant smiles, lots of happiness. I love that. It reminds me of Moore Park where I lived in California. They always used to set off um, hot air balloons. We could see them just driving by. There's no method to my madness here. I'm just looking at everything. Happy birthday to a wonderful mom. See, that doesn't even apply anymore because my mama has passed away. So... in the toy section. Let's think about pleasant childhood things. So those are for the darts theme. Probably them. I don't even know if kids like to play with foam darts anymore. I mean, these toys are all here, but what do kids really play with nowadays? I don't know. Thing that needs to be put out by the staff. I'll leave it to them. Squishy ball. Okay. Damn funny looking guys. There's the punch balloons. How would you hide that whoopee cushion to make somebody sit on it? It's got foam in it or something. special person. May it help you to know that the many are sharing your sadness. Well, it's too late for that one. Hey. I love this guy. The 
Fisher Price elephant. What's around the corner? Uh, I'm gonna look through the tool section. I'm over here hiding from a man who's talking in a booming voice on his cell phone. <laughs> Thinking I'll get a couple of things that I need to for my house. I need some brass tacks. I don't want duct tape. I am looking for some packing tape to close my packages with. Paint brushes. Where's this go? Oh wait, no. That's marked differently than whatever's on this. Oh well. I can't help you guys out. But maybe I can just put this together with the other one since it's the same. When management comes through, they can place it. I'm here early in the morning. So there's very few people in the store. New, the smell of a new car makes me feel sick, so I wouldn't pick that one. But this one Mm. Mm. Watermelon. Oh. Well, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get air freshener right now. I'm looking for some packing tape. Scent block. Cherry Coronado Cherry. I'm tempted by these, but I'm really not going to give in. Here's a double pack of the same. Hmm. Seems like a better bargain. Team Spirit House Flag. So that's for the Tennessee Titans. I'm not, uh... Hey! This says... I do get one free. Is it the same amount of tape? That's one sixty yards. I think I just like the dispensers better, so I don't have to switch out the that's forty yards each. I need it. I'm going to send. I think I already said that I'm sending a package out to Romania. So I need something to close up the box. Um, you know, I don't think I'm going to use anything like that. I think I'm going to use a box when I send it. So. Model Magic Crayola. I have no clue what that is. Sheet protectors. I don't think I need 
see any more of those. I think I got them uh, from the Portland consignment shop. So let's pass on that. Oh, I love the glitter glue. But I'm not going to make any more slime either. And boy, do I not need these. <laughs> I just like them. I'll probably keep buying them anyway. Don't need any socks or underwear for anybody in my house. Backpacks. I wonder if they have children's lunch sacks here. See, this one, there, this is what I'm talking about. It's a children's lunch sack. Yeah, but it's attached to the backpack that matches it. So, they don't sell them separately. Cute. <laughs> I would have loved to get something like that for my kids when they were little. And slippers. My goodness, things have changed. Pillowcases. Don't need them. Pillow. Standard queen. Memory foam. Doesn't feel quite like memory foam. Boy, this thing got attacked by somebody. <laughs> little cardboard books. They're super thick pages. I like that. Okay, here's a Sesame Street one. Yep. It's a cute one too. Party play packs. No, it doesn't say party. It says play. So there's a whole bunch of activities in here for kids that are traveling, I guess. Don't really need that. Cute, frozen. I can't believe this is all still so popular. You know, if it's still around, it's been a big hit. Like a lot of the Disney movies. Alrighty, this is the play pack. Oh, put it down, Rebecca. Put it down. <laughs> They're so cute, aren't they? Jumbo coloring books. Okay, let us get out of the children. Here's the craft section. Oh, and party goods too. Dollar General and Dollar Tree have a lot of party um, decorations and supplies. Is it a miniature piñata? Yeah, it's a decorative. I wonder if you would try to fill that or not. So it's just supposed to be for a show. You decorate your party. But now there's a place to put candy in it, so... Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, I just fell in love. This is cute. I'm gonna get that. Don't need balloons for anything. I think these are fascinating. I wonder how they got popular. There's nothing in them but cement. <laughs> but they're pretty. They certainly are pretty. 
Okay, I'm gonna take this confetti with me. No clue what I'm gonna do with it. Unicorn head light up balloon. I can't fathom it. I'll just put it back. Mm, what else? Oh man. I love confetti, but I just really don't know what I would do with it. Mm, good to have some self control and put that other back. banner. One of these days I'll get that if I ever have a party. I do expect one day to be reunited with my family, but it isn't time yet. another R or a K. Oh well, never mind. No bees. Birdhouse. Rhinestone stickers. a lot of you like me who come in for one thing and end up buying a whole basket full of stuff. That's interesting. Hmm. Gemstone ribbon. What would you do with that? A red ribbon. It's just rather an ordinary, typical one. like they're low on a lot of things here right now. Color in wood box. That's interesting. And then after you're done coloring, do you varnish it? I would have to stain it and varnish it or something. Hmm. Cake and candy supply. Interesting mold. You know, I don't think I've ever done anything like this. Maybe I should someday. Do it for the kids on the bus. They get a kick out of chocolate spoons, and chocolate hearts. So you just melt the candy. <laughs> Put it in the molds and then it cools off. I like these. Little miniature. Maybe I'll do some miniature cupcakes someday. Look at the little eyeballs. Cute. I could put that on the cupcakes and make a face. Um. Um, no, just, I'll think about that some more after I make, when I get close. 
closer to making cupcakes. Look at that, a little miniature, miniature uh, cookie cutters. I wonder if I'd ever done all things so. on. Well. Eight sprinkles for the cupcakes. Very pretty. Hmm. I think I'll just wait till I get closer to time and then I'll decide then if I need more fancy stuff. Basting brushes. What's this bag doing over here? It needs to be hanging right there. What are these doing here? Oh, clearance. I thought that was kind of a funny mix of product there. What is this? This is like, um, it says a decal. Removable tile decal. What do you do? Just put it behind your kitchen wall. Party. There's so much more of that party, party paraphernalia. <laughs> oh, metallic necklaces. I guess that would be a party favor for the children. Oh, cool. I think I'm gonna get that. These are some fun and pretty uh, party favors. I like them. Can you imagine giving fake money to children? One table cover. Keeping that. Not sure what in the world I'm going to do with it, but I'm keeping it. Look at this mess. They haven't gotten here yet. Oh, I don't see where that one goes. Here's a six pack of all of one color. I guess you would do that for that's like party favors. You have a bunch of kids at one party. I want to pick up a little bit of this mess. That's bothering me. Interesting color combo there. Ooh. Ooh. Totally talking my language here. I love, love, love rainbows. And I love shiny metallic things. Even though So, 
all of this can be a set somehow. And they even have matching candles. Is that not cool? That's cool. Okay. Here's some pretty rainbow stuff, but it's more uh, pastel. It's metallic, but it's pastel. Very light. for them. It's less than Kroger, so that's fine. Mini fruit sours. I want, I want. I be good. I be very good. Only look and put it back. refrigerated section nuts. I need to pick up some cheese and lunch meat for my lunch making video. And let's get some string cheese. That'll be good in the lunches. School is out now, so um, and I don't have children, so I think I am gonna have to make it like these are travel lunches for me and my husband. And I'll tell you what, talking about nostalgia. My husband loves bologna, so I think I'll get some bologna. Oh, we can use some lunches and stuff for our travels that are coming up. Okay, I think I've got enough stuff now. I am going to just go ahead and check out and get on home and I will show you there what I bought today. Okay. Here we are. So I did end up getting the dried fruit. Strawberry and peach. I'm going to put these in our lunches. And we are going to have some string cheese in our lunches. It'll be kind of fun packing lunches for this person's video request. But the fun part, even more fun, is that my husband and I get to eat them. I got some Welch's fruit snacks. It's made with just real fruit juice. I will be making some, hmm, uh, probably um, some kind of casserole with this. We don't eat this very often now because I'm trying to stay low carb. Um, just every once in a while, put noodles in something. There's my cat food. I decided on the Heartland seafood. Let's go around the table here. Show ya. Got the coffee filters and the sponges. And I gave in to temptation and got the confetti. <laughs> got the play money. I had to get that. I don't know why. And the packing tape. It was such a good deal for this other stuff to buy two, get one free. That's fun. 
in a bargain on top of already getting a discount. So, here's my balloonie. Oscar Mayer brand. I'll be making some cupcakes somewhere along the line. Capri Suns. I'll put them in my lunches, but I'll probably end up saving it. I don't know. I decided on some nature's own bread. A couple of cards. I'll put all this stuff away later. There's the Cheetos for Serena. So good. Mm. Fritos for my salads. Occasionally. My husband's gonna help me have some control with that. And these are the Mini bags of chips. What is a sandwich without a few little chips? Cat snacks. Yum, yum. The thing is, no matter what food plan you're on, you can't be so strict that you don't allow yourself to treat. So that is it, my friends. Thank you for coming on my shopping trip with me. I'm so happy you joined.